Hi there! Now here we are with something a little bit different from the usual. Um, tabletop simulator and uh, I have uh, one of my friends here with me. Say hi! Hello! <laughs> Ray Toki is one of my friends, commonly just known as Toki. And uh, we've known each other for a few years now. Played different games together, even met each other in real life. <coughs> and we share uh, a couple of interests. And uh, since we both got this game now, well, I figured that one of the things we could do was uh, share our interests again. So for this game, I uh, made a little bit of a surprise for Turkey here because I figured that uh, we'd play magic. <gasps> and uh, I made some different decks here. And uh, there is, uh, if you look at them, like don't pick the cards, but uh, if you alt over them, we have my green deck, which is snakes. We have my white deck, which is leonin or lions. We have my black deck, which is rats. And then we have a very special deck. And do you know what that is? No, but I want it. If I can lift it high enough. One second. Recognize that card? Oh my god. Necromancers. Uh... It is your deck. Oh my god, it is the deck that... <gasps> I was wondering why you wanted me to tell you the cards. Yep, I made the deck for you. So, uh, I figured that you want to play with this. This is how you uh, shuffle the cards, by the way. Uh, uh, shuffling makes me feel very awkward inside. <laughs> and I'm going to play with my deck. I'll have you know, I beat your butt once. Well, uh, I am assuming that your deck here will beat me quite hard because uh, I've seen your cards and they're damn overpowered. So, uh, well, I taught you a little bit about how you play this game or use this game. So, we do you the usual thing. You might want to make a little bit more, bit more room for your uh, graveyard. <clears throat> but for those who don't know magic, what we basically are going to do is uh, we're both summoners and we're battling each other for dominance over this field of battle. I'm going to play with my army of Anthro uh, Lions from the lands of Mirrodin who grow uh, plating naturally out of their skin. They're from an artificially created world and so they're artificial beings themselves. And uh, Toki here is going to do necromancer stuff, weird stuff. I don't really know all of the details, but we're going to see how it plays out. And uh, what we do is we start with seven cards in our hand, and there's some rules for mulligans and stuff. But uh, uh, remember to put them into your hand. Seven cards into your hand and flip. Yeah, you should maybe have flipped them before you put them down. <laughs> I've... <clears throat> Bananas. So here's my cards. Don't think you saw this proper. And uh, I can't take a mulligan myself because I have two of these. If you have a land in your hand, then you cannot take a free mulligan. Mm -hmm. If you have a hand that you're just not satisfied with, you can take a mulligan but you have to pay one card so next time you pick your cards you have to take only six cards but you can do it as many times as you want each time you just lose one card so it starts not paying off so uh well we're going to decide who is going to start and we're going to use my die for that okay your loaded dice 19 i told you well, you can roll your own die if you want. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm going to. Yeah, watch me beat you. I hate you. You failed at beating me. 
and the die here is going to represent our health, by the way. So uh, since I get to decide who starts, well, I'm going to say Turkey starts because I generally don't want to. <clears throat> I'm content with my hand, so I'll keep it. Notice that uh, Turkey does not pull a card because uh, he's starting the game, and that's basically why I don't want to. So it's my turn now. I pick a card, and I like seeing that. Play a mana. So, I uh, if you look in the upper right corner, that's the mana cost. And, as you can see, I have nothing currently that is costing one mana, so it is your turn. And we're not going to do the in-game turn shifting, because I always forget about that, so... Mm. Focus to that. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, you should maybe do this on top. So we can just mouse over and say two, huh? because uh, otherwise you are going to fling cars all over the place. If that's part of my strategy. Uh, yeah, if you want to lose your cards. <laughs> so, now I have two mana. That means I can play stuff. Maybe. <laughs> I can play stuff. So I tap my mana. Play a card. And then it is your turn. There's a creature, Sunspear Shikari, and uh, as you can see, she has a special ability that is common to Leonin, namely that uh, she gets stronger by being equipped. And rather than becoming physically stronger, she gets the ability to strike first and do life linking, so I can regenerate health by the damage that she does. I forgot what flying does. <laughs> flying means that you can attack your opponent and they cannot block unless they have a creature that can block flying or has flying themselves. Okay, I gotcha. It's been forever since I played this game. <laughs> I think the last time I played it was when you were here in Texas. Yeah, well, that was a couple of years back. Alrighty, I can play a monster, I believe. How do I turn the cards again? Uh, F to flip and EQ to rotate. Oh. And remember that uh, you may not want them to overlap. <clears throat> you paint three mana and you're going to cast a Cemetery Reaper. Other zombies you control get plus one plus one. Exile target creature card from a graveyard. Put a two two black zombie creature card in onto the battlefield. So that's a quite nasty one, even though it's mm -hmm. pretty small. So what you note here is you can pay mana and then you can remove creatures from the game and spawn zombies for your own side. That's pretty much annoying. And it also buffs all zombies, so yeah, nice. Yeah, zombie card necromancer decks are annoying. So, uh, my turn? Yes, sir. Ma'am. Person. Now we're going to put this directly into play. Actually, I'm going to partition this a little bit. Because I am fancy and have different lands. And you do too, actually. Um, so, like that. And uh, that is three mana, so that means I can play this one now. This one comes into play. Skyhunter Cup. She gets stronger when she gets equipped. And uh, she gets plus one, plus one. So she becomes a 3-3 three, three and gains the ability flying. This is gonna hurt. No, it's not. Let's <laughs> Is it my turn? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I thought the uh, the back image on these cards uh, would suit your taste. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. Um... Of 
four mana. Two. Brain Gorges, a zombie that now becomes a 5-3. Whenever you play Brain Gorges, any player may sacrifice a creature. If a player does, counter Brain Gorges. Uh -huh. So that is what you think, is it? <laughs> do we want to do that? Yes. <clears throat> so, do you want to do anything else? Oh, it's your turn. Okay. And I'm going to play mana. So now I have four mana, which means I can play this. It is a grappling hook. It gives double strike and it allows a creature to say, you have to block me. Oh dear. Yeah. So uh, your turn. Let's see. You're playing Wall of Bone. Regenerate Wall of Bone. Okay. And uh, I attack you. Your no wait no wait. What does your gut effect do? It gives me double strike, and it makes it so that I can say you have to block me. Okay, what's double strike do? It just attacks twice. It attacks twice, and the first strike is a first strike. Okay. Uh, I can attack your monster, right? Nope. You can attack me, and All I can right. choose to block you. I flail my zombie at you. Okay, I'm going to take the damage. My turn. Uh, let's see. Well, that might change what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see. Five mana. So, let's see, this one... Hmm. Equipped. You fiend. So... It is your turn, I think. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? Uh, yeah, it's your turn. Okay, I draw my whole deck. Mm. You don't want to put that in your hand. That's going to be messy. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see. Hmm. Hey, hey, hey. I'm I'm I already look like I'm playing a deck from Hot Topic. I don't need creepy fog around my stuff. No, I still don't have enough here. But I do have... Do, 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 do. And what is this now? It is a putrid imp. Threshold. As long as seven or more cards are in your graveyard, putrid imp gives plus one, plus one, and can't block. 
and uh, it has uh, flying if you discard a card. Okay. If you discard a card. And now it has flying. Mm hmm. But it cannot attack. Nope. Crap! <laughs> I hate you so damn much. Uh, my turn. <laughs> it's okay! I discarded a useless card, so it's totally fine. Is it my turn? Oh, I'm gonna be pro at this rate. I didn't hear you, it wasn't my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Yeah, you okay. Oh, I needed one of those. So, since I have so much mana now, I'm going to pay for. Put Arjani Goldmane into play. He is a planeswalker, which is basically a creature that's also a player. And, uh, yeah, he's a nice guy. He looks like a nice guy. So now I need these. Who in the what now? I need avatar tokens, because once he gets empowered, he can spawn these guys, and they have as much in toughness and strength as I have in life. And with that thought, I'm going to attack you. And I'm going to say, this guy has to block me. Okay, he's going away. Bye bye, Mr. Ghoul. And I get two life. And now it's your turn. I like lifelink. I played Severed Legion. It has spheres, so I can't block it. Anything. And it's a 2-2 two, two zombie. Okay. And, uh... I s uh, can't really do anything, so... It's your turn. Okay. So, first of all, I'm going to need another one of these, because Ajani gets me 2 life. It's not 5. What's five? He can regenerate health for me. His buff is give me life, and his debuff is put a plus one plus one counter on everything I have, and it gains vigilance for the end of turn. That's horrible. It's nice. Oh my god, this reminds me of an old rebel deck I used to have that gave me infinite life. See, he's a nerd. Want to buy Coalition Victory. Okay, so, uh, yeah, now that that is done, I am going to say, uh, she attacks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, your wall of bones has to block me. Okay, then. How much does she have now? She gives four damage because she attacks twice. Oh, no. And you can't regenerate it because you don't have black mana available. It should be noted that Planeswalkers is a target for others, so they can be attacked. How much life does he have? Four? Five. Five. Ooh. It is the same as his loyalty. That's pretty snazzy. Yeah, uh, is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Running out of things to do. Good. That's <laughs> the idea. <laughs> the heart of the cards is not with me. I see. 
Um, uh, I'll attack you with my severed limbs. Okay, just me? Mm, I mean, uh, you're watching Call of Dude. Oh, Johnny? Yeah, Johnny. Well, I'm gonna say denied. He has protection from you. Huh. Aren't you a bastard? <laughs> that... So, my turn? Yes. Just. Okay. So. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to play this, I think. Wait, before I do anything, let's cast his ability. I gain two life. Okay, so uh, now that that is done, I am going to pay two mana. Play her. Leonin Dengard. She's a 1-3 and every time she gets equipped, she gets a plus one plus one and it doesn't cause uh, an attack and doesn't cause it to tap, so vigilance. Uh, I may have said something a little wrong there. It's not every time, it is only once, so if she is equipped. Yeah, so every equip she gets a vigilance. No, no, no. If she is equipped, she gets vigilance. Oh, just once? Yeah, it wouldn't make sense to have vigilance more than once. You you tap so little when you attack that you start tapping again. Mm. It is more the plus one, plus one. She can only get plus one, plus one, plus one tw once. Um, and then what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I... I, 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 I... I. I am going to attack you. And uh, should I kill this guy? No, I'm just going to attack you. Uh, mm, I'll take it. Okay. And I get gain four life. Your turn. Yay. Just so you know, I would still be kicking your butt if I were mono starved. <laughs> that's the main thing I noticed with this deck. It has too many high cost cards. Yeah, that's the problem. Mine does too, though. If I don't get mana, I just die. Let's see. And I'm actually not at the cap that I need yet. <laughs> Oop, nope. And I play another Severed Legion. Uh huh. And I check you with both of these. Me? I uh, yes, you're Edge Edge Johnny. Okay, then I'm going to uh, pay two mana because uh, you can't. Oh, you. Bitch! <laughs> so, uh, my turn? No! Yes. Thank you. So, let's see. Okay, so. This is how much. So. You know, Since if you were I Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd be kicking your butt right now. Yeah, but I don't play Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a silly game. <laughs> so uh, I am not uh, thinking that you're going to let me have him for much longer. So uh -huh. I'm going to sacrifice him by using all his counters to spawn one of these guys. He's a twenty-eight, twenty-eight, and then I am going to say use four mana. To put 
No, actually no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to... Uh, I am going to, yeah, I am going to do that. So like this, and then I'm going to attack you with this. Uh, put this fella into game. Because my token has actually actually has, ma has uh, summoning sickness at the moment, so I can't attack. So I'm going to attack you with this, and say this guy has to block me. Alrighty. And I believe you have double strike, so you can attack again, can't you? No. Nope. It can go through you. So if you put mm. something up for defending, it's only Oh, it does have trample, takes. never mind. Yep, you need that ability to get to be able to continue. Alrighty then. You see my tactic? Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, <laughs> I'm gonna have to secede this one because next turn you gonna you wipe me out and I can't defend against it because I just keep getting crap. <laughs> so I'll just let you wipe me out. No, 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 no. There's nothing called just wipe me out. Let's see. Uh... Oops. Um, let's see. Another wall of bones. Yep. What does it mean when they have... Uh, this, the the monocost has two monocosts in one circle. It could be either or. Uh, if it has two different colors, yes, you can use two different colors on it. Uh -huh. So it has, like, planes and... A, a, a skull in the same circle. Mm -hmm. So it's and you an could use or? white or black mana. It just has to be either white or black. Alrighty. Um, I can't really do anything, so it's your turn. Okay. It's gonna hurt. So let's see. Do you actually own this deck? This one I'm playing? Yeah. Yeah. Holy balls, is this the one that you used against me? No, I think that was actually an earlier version. So, I'm going to uh, pay four, put another one of these into, ga into the game. Then I'm going to attack you with her. Attack you with this. Mm -hmm. Attack you with this. And, uh, uh, let's see, should I attack with this too? No. So, like that. Alrighty. Um, let's see. Yeah, she has flying, so you have to yeah. discard something if you want to block her. From my hand, or? From your hand to get your prude sheet. Pru yes. Putrid, I can't say that word. Putrid, Putrid imp. imp to be able to fly, otherwise you can't block it. Uh, let's see. I sacrificed this card. To oh, yeah, flying. And, uh, by the way, this guy mm -hmm. has to block her. Has to block who? Her. Okay. I block your flying with my flying. Mm -hmm. I block your 2828 with my wall of bones. Mm hmm. So it's dead. Tap it's, one. It's very, very dead. Remember, regenerate works in overkill mode. So for every one time it dies, mm -hmm. you have to pay one mana. So he's a 30-30, a and it has four health. So yeah. it takes four damage. You mm -hmm. regenerate it. Then there's 26 damage left. You regenerate it. So uh, you're going to have to pay a lot of mana. Yeah, he's gonna go bye bye. Yeah. Um, so is he. Uh, are you sure you want to block with it? Oh, yeah, you have to block with it because uh, yeah. otherwise you will die I have now. To, I have to block with her. Yeah, that one. So, uh, yeah, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. 
Let's see. Where is it? Eh. Graveyard is so messy. You do remember that you can do this. To go through it. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little to get used to the controls. Oh god, no. Oh, no. I cheated. Oh, 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 I cheated. You're, you're cheating now. <laughs> oh god, it won't let me stop cheating. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. <laughs> oh my god. I, I think we're going to move this a little further away. <laughs> It doesn't help when two people are trying to work the deck. <laughs> okay, so you're going in. Crap! You don't have the one you want, or what? <laughs> I can't find... Crap! Oh my god! <laughs> this is horrible! I'd be kicked out of a tournament for this. <laughs> Um, mm, it's not gonna work. But just because I can, I want to tap that. I don't want to tap that. And I play this, and apparently I throw a graveyard card over there, <laughs> and it is now that person's cards. Return target uh, creature uh, card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Flashback, sacrifice three, cre cre uh, three creatures. So you can play this again. You may cast this card from your graveyard. Yeah, so if you have it in your graveyard, you can use flashback to play it again. If then, you sacrifice three creatures to do it. I bring forth my ultimate creation. Woo! Lived all the necromancer for one mana cost cheaper. It was all a ploy all along. But I have no creatures to defend with, so it was pointless. <laughs> well, you still got them in play, so might we get my play? Yes. Now you die. Hey. So like this. And how much mana does that give me? Two, two, three, so four, five, six, seven, eight. It's not quite as much as I'd liked. But eh, what the hell? So um, I am going to sacrifice her now, uh -huh. and then uh, not really. Or am I? Yeah, I will actually be sacrificing her. So uh, I am going to pay. Uh, no, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with everything. And then I'm going to say he has to block her, so the rest has to go in. That gives me four life. Can I flip the table now? No. Then she gives you one damage, she gives you two damage, and he gives you 30 damage because the damage hasn't been calculated yet. So uh, I tap all my mana. Then I use this spell with the entwine cost. Say everything gets plus two, plus two, and I everything gets lifelink. So uh, you get three, uh, seven, um, so 37 damage. I'm going to need a couple more of these. God damn you, you bitch. Yeah, well, well. There we go. 71 well, life, and you're dead. Well, you're very, very, very dead. Your guys get lost in my swamp, so. <laughs> you guys get lost in my swamp, and they all die of dehydration. See, eight. <sighs> and then, and then, I'm gonna tap that swamp, and I play missing token. <laughs> and so then. What, what do you think? I was uh, this is much better than playing actual the, the actual 
uh, Magic the Gathering game. Yeah, exactly. It's and, and the good it's thing about easier. In the good thing about this is you can cheat. Like you really? don't ha you don't have to use their rules. You can cheat if you want. Like uh, I've seen people actually playing the game cheat, and you see them like putting cards to the side and stuff like that. Of course, in a game of Magic, you can't really cheat. But like I play with mana burn. Hey, stop coloring my die. I'm sorry, that's my health, thank you very much. Bull. <laughs> so, um like that with, was pretty fun. With this, you can uh you can play with your own rules, so you don't have mm -hmm. to play with the stupid rule that uh, if you're not familiar with magic, lately they made the change that mana burning is taken out of the game. So if what you is mana burning, I don't remember that. Mana burning is an effect that says if you use mana or tap mana that you are not using, you yeah. will take the damage that you have mana left after your turn is done. So effectively, you could kill yourself by burning yourself to death. Oh, that sounds particularly horrible and painful. Yeah, but it made sense because you had decks where you said uh, every time I tap a mana, I gain three mana. Yeah. So huh. every mana you have becomes three mana, so you need to make sure that you partition your spells so that you can cast them in groups of three. Or else you will be burning yourself. So it was a gamble of do you want to take the damage or can you actually manage your, da your mana well enough to do this? And I like that effect, personally. So kind of I still play with good. Mana Burn. So I don't play with sissy rules like that. Kind of forces so you to, to, to learn things. To be efficient. Okay, so... Uh, do you want to take another game? I want you to gaze at my awesome rolls. Okay, just, just watch it. All Eight. the rolls. I can't break. <laughs> Ten. Oh, that was a 20. Ever. Oh, God! That's like... Mm, yeah. 17. That's almost a natural twenty. I hate you. It's just like wow when we used to play. Woohoo! Twenty. <laughs> okay, so enough of that time. Do you want to take another game or play another game? Uh, yes, but I think I'm gonna choose a different deck right now because I wanna. I have an itching to play green. Well, we'll get back to that. Uh, but uh, how the hell do I make things smaller though? <laughs> it's me that does that, but. Oh. We're going to call it off for here now, and then we're going to be back in a little bit with another game, so see you in a moment. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.